Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got video number three out of four for the July paper and ink card class. July paper and ink cards is in my Rolling Meadows home studio, July 29th at 6.30. Email Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com for more information or to RSVP. If you don't live local but you still want to participate, you can get a kit for this class absolutely free as my thank you gift to you for placing an order at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net, $50 or more, use the host code and I'll send you the kits for all four cards free. I send it by USPS post postal mail when I close the host code. You'll get a kit for each of the four cards. This is card number three. This is card number four. This is card number two. And this is card number one. All right. Let's get started with what you need for this awesome Check You Out card. I'm featuring the brand new Check You Out Photopolymer stamp set from Stampin' Up. I just love this set. Look at the cute images. It's all ink and stamp, so it makes quick cards. It is photopolymer and 16 pieces. I also used my Layering Squares Framelits dies. I think I used the two and five eighths inch square and then cut it, scallop square, cut it in half. That's how we've got this adorable little scallop trim. My stampin' pads for this project are terracotta tile, soft suede, garden green, crushed curry, and blushing bride. When you get the kit, you'll find inside some scraps of Blushing Bride and Crushed Curry to do the little hearts and bow tie for our worm. You'll find that scallop trim piece. I've got a piece of very vanilla here. This is for stamping and cutting your worm and your um, library pocket. Got a three by three piece of Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper here. And then we've also got a one inch by four inch strip. My linen thread here is about 16 inches. And that comes in your kit. And this one's a lot of stampin', so let's do that. I'm gonna get my Stampin' Pierce mat and let's get stampin'. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is stamp up my background with the books. So I put all three books on one block. Got a soft suede card base and a soft suede stampin' pad. So I'm gonna ink up the books. There's a little something on my stamp. All right, let's ink up those books and then we're gonna stamp in our background. All right, so we're gonna fill kind of from the center out. And each time we stamp, we're gonna rotate the stamp so that different books are next to each other. There's our falling book background, pretty cool. Next up, I wanna grab some terracotta tile. Still got our soft suede out here because we're going to use that one next and the library card so let's ink up our adorable little library pocket and we'll stamp that on very vanilla and I got check you out Let's go ahead and add that greeting on the lines. I love the photopolymer. You can see exactly where you're stamping. We want to stamp it so that check you out is on the lines. Now my little worm. Let me get some garden green and crushed curry. We're going to go from our lighter to our darker color here. So we're going to ink up our little worm's head and bow tie with crushed curry. We're gonna stamp on crushed curry cardstock. Then we need to clean the stamp. Got my chamois here. I'm just gonna clean away the 
crushed curry. Now we're gonna ink up and garden green. Let's stamp our worm on very vanilla. How cute is he? Got a Blushing Bride scrap and Blushing Bride ink. I'm gonna ink up the heart with Blushing Bride and stamp on Blushing Bride cardstock. Now it's time for a little bit of fussy cutting. We're going to cut our images so that they have just a tiny little bit of very vanilla around the edge, kind of a defining line. All right, for our Blushing Bride and crushed curry. We're going to go for the same effect. We want a little edge of cardstock past the actual stamped image, just a tiniest little bit. That'll give us the most crisp line. For Worm's bow tie, we're going to cut almost directly on the stamped line. It'll make paper piecing the bow tie onto the green worm so much neater if you can cut right on that that crushed curry line. Let's get some snail adhesive here. I'm gonna put snail on the back of our designer series papers. Back sides are almost too pretty. Now on the crushed curry leaves we're going to about a quarter inch from the top so it's a little bit off center top to bottom. We're gonna adhere the very vanilla to that snail. Add a bit more snail. And then for placement here, you want about a quarter of an inch from the fold of the card. So it's off center, left to right, and about an inch and a quarter from the bottom. So it's off center, top to bottom. That placement really works for balance here. Then we're gonna add our mint macaron mosaic paper and we're going to center that and adhere down over our crushed curry designer series paper. All right, let's get some multi-purpose liquid glue. We're going to combine a couple of these stamp images before we add them to the card. So we've got our little bow tie. Let's put our little bow tie on Mr. Worm here. Mm, upside down, I think. <laughs> there we go. Then let's put our little heart on our library pocket. Now if you want this card to be a little bit more masculine, you can leave the heart off. I think that some people in the class will. That's okay. I'm going to wrap the library card twice with the linen thread. And then we'll tie our little bow right over the heart. You're going to have access, so go ahead and trim the tails, and then we'll add snail adhesive to the library pocket. We want a quirky little angle here that kind of bridges the mint macaron and the crushed curry designer series paper. And for our worm, we'll grab a couple of mini Stampin' Dimensionals. Now let's bump our little bookworm up. There it is, check you out. Great for back to school, for the book lover in your life. All right, you guys, if you've got any questions about paper and ink cards, either in person in Chicago area or absolutely for free by mail, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And if I can help you with Stampin' Up! order, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. If your order is over $50 and you use the host code, you'll automatically get a card kit for each of the paper and ink cards this month. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys.